Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Gomi and today we are back for a statue tutorial, kind of starting a new series. It's something that I've dabbled in in the past, but it's something I've not done for quite a while. So today we are doing Thanos, and this is the version from Infinity War, so not the comic version. I have got a comic version design ready to go, but I'm getting this one out first because personally I feel it will be the more popular of the two character designs. Again, if you do want the other one, let me know in the comment section below. What I want to say is this is kind of a start of me testing new series, so I want to do some Marvel, potentially some DC. Uh, back in the day I did Suicide Squad, and that went pretty well. I also want to start getting some maybe Disney stuff. Star Wars, like new series out there that are generally quite popular in mainstream pop culture. So again, let me know what you think of this, let me know what you want to see as well in addition to the Fortnite, FNAF, all those kind of series I've done for quite a while. So I want to also give a quick shout out to Calendar Man who was the designer of this statue. It's a really, really cool design, pretty basic so it shouldn't be too difficult to do. I've made a few modifications mainly to the arm and the gauntlet. So again, a few small additions but the majority of the work was by Calendar Man. What I also want to say is if you're looking for a Minecraft server, feel free to come and join us at Tanto Network. The server IP is tantonetwork.com and it's a Minecraft PC 1.12 server with creative, towny and also a new game mode in the works. Free to join, so if you want to come join myself as well as a bunch of builders who help out with the channel, that is the place to be. Once again, the IP is tantonetwork.com. So without further ado... And without plugging anything more, let's get straight into the tutorial. So the blocks you're going to need are as following. You'll need block of coal, black wool, yellow terracotta, yellow concrete, brown terracotta, grey terracotta, spruce planks, blue terracotta, blue concrete, black concrete, blue wool, light blue terracotta, purple terracotta, magenta terracotta, lime concrete, block of gold, light blue concrete, red concrete, orange terracotta, quartz, snow, quartz stairs, and also the snow little slabby kind of things. You know what I mean? The um, car almost carpet-like blocks of snow, but the ones that can stack. So again, I'll give you guys a second to pause here, grab them blocks into your inventory, and then we'll get straight into the actual building. Again, if you do enjoy, a like on the way out would be very much appreciated. Comment again your suggestions down below. It's really important that I hear from you in this video what you think, not only about this series idea, but potentially other ideas I could do on the channel. And again, Follow me on Twitter at Going Bear Games if you want to keep in the loop with all my videos and all the stuff that I've been doing on the server. So yeah, let's start building. We're going to start off with the front side of the legs. Front side of the legs is going to be a 12 by 8 rectangle, so that's 12 blocks tall, 8 blocks wide. We're going to do it layer by layer, left to right, so let's begin. Starting off, we are going to place 3 blocks of coal, 2 black concrete, 3 blocks of coal, and that is our first layer. Now again, after every single layer, I'm going to pause, give you guys an opportunity to catch up. Please do use that opportunity, just pause the video and repeat what you see on screen. For the second layer now, we are going to place three black wool, two black concrete and three black wool. And we repeat this for the third layer. So again, that's three black wool, two black concrete and three black wool. For layer number four now, we are going to place one block of coal, two yellow terracotta, two black concrete, two yellow terracotta, and one block of coal. On top of this, for our fifth layer, we're going to place one yellow terracotta, one black wool, one yellow terracotta, two black concrete, a yellow terracotta, one black wool, and one yellow terracotta. On top of this, to cap off the shoes, we are going to place three yellow concrete, two black concrete, and three yellow concrete, and that is our sixth layer. So again, if you want to pause so far, first six layers, halfway point, and again, this is majority, just the shoes. For the next layer, which is our seventh layer, we are going to place two brown terracotta, four grey terracotta, and two brown terracotta. On top of this, we're going to place three spruce planks, two grey terracotta, and three spruce planks. And what we're going to do is we're going to repeat this twice more. So it's going to be the ninth and 10th layers. And once again, that is three spruce planks, two grey terracotta and three spruce planks. So three layers in a row of the exact same pattern. For the 11th layer, the second to last layer, we're going to place one spruce plank, one brown terracotta and four grey terracotta. We're then going to cap it off with one brown, one spruce. Again, that is our 11th layer. 
And then our 12th and final layer, nice and simple, is going to consist of 8 spruce planks. So, that is the front side of the legs in its basic form. So again, that's a 12 by 8 rectangle, 12 tall, 8 wide. And now what we're going to do is actually add a little 3D effect. Again, it's just a small kind of uh, touch, a small little addition, but it does make it look pretty cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the sixth layer of the build, aka the layer with the yellow concrete, two black concrete, and three yellow concrete. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this forward. So what I define as 3D is we're building onto. We're not replacing, we're not indenting, building into, we're building on top of. So we're going to place three yellow concrete, leave a two block gap, place three yellow concrete. And underneath this, on the left side, we're going to place two black wool and a yellow terracotta. And on the right side, we place one yellow terracotta and two black wool. So again, it's two three by two rectangles. It's just to bring a bit of shape, I guess, to the knees slash upper shoes. And uh, yeah, that is the front side of the legs complete. So that is a 12 by eight. Again, if you want to pause, please do take this opportunity. It's better to pause now than to get to the end of the video, realize you messed up half an hour ago and have to go back and destroy everything because that really is heartbreaking. <laughs> Anyways, uh, without further ado, let's start working on the upper body. So the upper body, just like the legs, is going to be a 12 by 8 rectangle. We're going to start off on the first layer by placing a blue terracotta, six spruce planks, and one blue terracotta. On the left side, we are, and this is where inventory management becomes a bit of a pain, going to grab ourselves some magenta terracotta. We are also going to grab ourselves some light blue terracotta. So we're going to expand one to left using magenta terracotta and then three light blue. On the right side, again, inventory management, we're going to need one uh, yellow concrete and then our yellow terracotta. So on the right side, we expand one yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta and two yellow concrete. So essentially, we've got normal hand and we've got gauntlet hand or gauntlet glove or whatever you want to call it. So four to left, four to right. And essentially, this is marking out where the hands are going to go. We're not actually working on them now. We're going to worry about that later on in the video. But it's just to save time. Saves us coming back, having to figure out where everything goes. It's ready to go, and we can work on it then. But for now, we are going to continue with the front side of the body, making some progress there. And then we'll come back to that later on. So, anyways, back to the body. We've already got our first layer complete. Our second layer is going to consist of one blue terracotta, two black wool, two yellow terracotta, two black wool, and one blue terracotta. So once again, that is our second layer. For our third layer now, we're going to place one blue terracotta, one yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, two black wool, yellow terracotta, yellow concrete, and one blue terracotta. So that's our third layer. Once again, inventory management, bit of an issue. Going to have to grab ourselves some blue concrete and blue wool. For the fourth layer, we are going to place one blue terracotta, one blue concrete, four blue wool, one blue concrete, and one blue terracotta. On top of this, we're going to repeat it. So for a second layer, one blue terracotta, one concrete, four wool, one concrete, one terracotta. On top of this, we are going to place one blue wool, one concrete, four wool, one concrete, one wool, and repeat this for a second time. So one wool, one concrete, four wool, one concrete, and one wool. So again, backing up so you can see, that is the seventh layer. Once again, if you need to catch up, feel free to pause the video. To cap this off, for the 8th layer, nice and simple, we're going to place 8 blue terracotta. On top of this for the ninth layer, we're going to place 3 blue concrete, 2 yellow terracotta, and 3 blue concrete. On top of this, we are going to place 3 blue wool, 2 yellow concrete, 3 blue wool. On top of that, we're going to place 3 yellow terracotta, 2 yellow concrete, and 3 yellow terracotta. For the 12th and final layer now, we're going to place one black concrete, one yellow terracotta, four yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, and one black concrete. Once you've done that, that is a 12 by 8 rectangle. Once again, if you're on a pause, please feel free to do so. And that is the front side of the body complete. Now, in regards to the arms, each arm is going to be a 12 by 4 rectangle. We're going to start off with the left one. Of course, they are different, mainly because that one has a glove that can destroy the world on it. Um, and this one doesn't. This is just a plain arm. So, first layer, we come to the 13th floor of the build. If you haven't already, you expand one to the left using one magenta, three light blue. The blocks you're going to need for this are going to be your magenta and your light blue. That's it. 
So just grab them two blocks and you're good to go. For the second layer, from left to right, we're going to place two light blue, two magenta. On top of this, for the third layer, we're going to place four light blue. For the next eight layers, we are going to place three light blue and one magenta. So the easy way of doing this is on the right side, just build up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then for the final block, place one light blue. For the remaining three blocks on each layer, until we reach the top, we're just going to place three light blue. There is a strip we need to add, but it'll make more sense if we just fill it in solid, like so. So you have something that looks like this. And then we'll use magenta to add the detailing. So come to the 11th layer, the second to top layer. Go one block to the right, so second block, punch this one out and go down two. Replace three blocks with magenta. Once you've done that, that is the arm complete. Very, very simple. What you can do, if you want to go for a more darker pattern, is you can also use purple. So as you can see, purple looks like that. You could also, if you're feeling really fancy, integrate some purple texture into the texture. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It, it might be overcomplicating things a bit. So again, that's a 12 by 4. If you want to pause, you are more than welcome to do so. And then we are going to start working on the right arm. So for the right arm, slightly different, as you can see. First layer, 13th layer of the build, one yellow concrete, one terracotta, two concrete. The second layer is going to be one lime concrete, so that's the green gem. We then have two yellow terracotta, and then we're going to grab ourselves our purple terracotta. So one purple terracotta. On top of this, we're going to place four yellow concrete. We're then going to place two yellow concrete and two yellow terracotta. So that's a 4x4, four four, and that's essentially what we're going to do for the gauntlet. Now, in terms of the remaining area, it's going to be the exact same as the other arm. So on the left side, we're going to build up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 using our magenta. And we're going to fill the rest in using light blue. So again, fill the remaining area all the way up to the top layer using light blue. Just like we did before, we're then going to come to the 11th layer, second block from right, and we're going to punch out, go down two, and replace all three with our magenta or purple, whichever color you are choosing to use, and it will now look something like this. So that is the front side of the statue complete. The one thing we will add um, is on the fourth block of the right hand, where this yellow terracotta is, we'll bring it forward to layer, just as a 3D effect, so the two blocks on the edge, that will carry around to the edge and the rear side, just a small detail. So that is the front side of the statue, that is 24 blocks tall, 16 wide, 8 wide if you're not including the arms, for whatever reason that would be. Um, and yeah, again, if you want to pause, good opportunity. So hopefully, again, everyone has something that looks like this. If you don't, go back in the video, see where things haven't gone quite to plan. Again, if you still have any issues, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try and help you as much as possible. For those that are good to go, we're going to continue. Now what our focus is going to be is turning it into a statue, i.e. making it 3D. So, we're going to come around to the left side of the statue, to the left side of the leg, and next to this block of coal here, we're going to go 1, 2, 3 to left using coal. Now, the side of the leg is going to be 12 by 4, however, the fourth block is already done, that's what you're seeing here. So, we're not going to be placing four blocks, we're indeed going to be placing three, because it's going to be 1, 2, 3, plus the block that's already here, that's going to be our fourth block. So, the first layer is going to be three blocks of coal. Second and third layer is going to be black wool, and fourth layer is going to be coal. The fifth layer is going to be one coal, two yellow terracotta. On top of this, we're going to place a layer of three yellow concrete, and on top of that, a layer of three brown terracotta, if we can place the blocks properly. There we go. The next layer is going to consist of three spruce planks. On top of that, we're going to have to change our inventory a bit, so we need our blue terracotta, blue wool. So we're going to place one blue terracotta, two spruce planks. We're then going to place one blue wool, two spruce planks. And for the final two layers, we're going to place two blue wool, one spruce. So again, that's two blue wool and one spruce. Once you've done that, that is the left side of the leg complete. That is a 12 by 4 rectangle. And again, if you want to pause, I'll give you a view also from the side angle. So the good news is the right side is indeed the exact same. If you want to copy it over, you're more than welcome to do so. Uh, I am going to go for it nevertheless, but again, it's up to you. So, heading around to the right side, again, exact same logic applies. One, two, three to the right. First layer is, again, block of coal. Second and third layers is going to be black wool, capped off with the fourth layer, which is going to be three blocks of coal. On top of this, matching up with the yellow terracotta, we're going to place two yellow terracotta, one block of coal. 
on top of this, free yellow concrete, and then cap it off with free brown terracotta. In this section, we're then going to place three spruce. The next layer is going to be two spruce, one blue terracotta, two spruce, one blue wool, and then the final two layers is going to be one spruce, two blue wool. So again, that's the 11th and 12th layers, exact same as the right side. That is, again, a 12 by 4. So, if I fly around, you should now see it looks something like this. That is the sides of the legs done. What we're going to work on now is the sides of the arms. But before we do that, we need to build a platform, uh, which we're going to build off of. So, we're going to come around to the rear side. Starting off with the basic hand, the light blue and magenta one. We are going to grab our light blue and magenta. Behind the magenta here, we're going to expand one, two, three backwards. And on the third uh, block, which would be this one, so second block that we've built, but third block in, we are going to expand one, two, three to the right. And in the three blocks in front of it and the three blocks behind it, we're going to place light blue terracotta. So it gives us this kind of sideways T pattern. If you go underneath the uh, hand, it should look one block forwards actually <laughs> so slight error on my half it's one block forward so it's the second block in and it will be looking like this <laughs> so yeah slight slight mess up on my my end but that is what it should look like and again if you want to replicate that that is now a four by four square on the right side it's slightly more easy so behind the yellow concrete we're going to place three yellow concrete and we do this all the way across and behind the yellow terracotta, we place the yellow terracotta. So underneath, simple stripe, no sideways rubbish or whatever. <laughs> so uh, yeah, a bit more easy and a bit less uh, chance of me messing that one up. So that is a 4x4 four four square and that is the underside of the right hand. Anyways, going back around to the left side, we now have a platform which we're going to build off and start building up the side of the arm. The best way to do this is simply just to build up 11 using light blue terracotta all the way across so that gives us our 12 by 4 and then we'll punch out the details that's by far the easiest way in my mind so starting off what we're going to do is where we have this existing magenta terracotta so this is the third block from left on the first layer we're going to punch up one and replace it with magenta we're then going to go all the way to the top third block from left again we're going to go down punch down down so three blocks in total replace all three of magenta or purple, again, depending on what colour you are choosing to use, and it will end up looking something like this. Again, very plain, very easy to do, and yeah, that is the left side of the arm. Coming around to the right side, this side's a bit more detailed, of course, because of the gauntlet. So we are going to grab ourselves our light blue concrete, our red concrete, and also our orange terracotta. First layer, as you can already see, is four yellow concrete. Second layer, we've got this one purple. Next up, we're going to place our light blue one, our red concrete, and our orange. Now, for the yellow gem, we are going to place two blocks of gold and one yellow concrete. And on top of this, we're going to place three yellow terracotta. On top of that, we are going to place eight layers of light blue terracotta. That will bring you all the way up until the top. Then we're going to grab ourselves our magenta terracotta, and we're going to start punching in some details. So come to the top left corner. Second block, second block down, punch out one, two, three, just like the other side. Replace it with magenta. It's essentially a clone of the other side, just with the gauntlet at the bottom. In terms of 3D effects, we're going to come to the fourth layer, and we're going to place four yellow terracotta all the way across in line with that. And that links up with the front side, and from a corner angle, looks like this. So again, if I back up, statue currently looking like this. If you don't have something looking like that, then uh, go back, see where things haven't gone quite to plan. So that is the front and sides complete. What we're going to do now is head around to the rear side and essentially link everything up. We've got the rear side of the legs, uh, left side and right side. We just need to link it in the middle by placing six blocks. So that's what we're going to start off by doing. So for the first layer, we've got our block of coal here. We're going to place two coal, two black concrete and two coal. On top of this, we're going to place two black wool, two black concrete, two black wool. And once again, we're going to repeat it. So two black wool. Two black concrete, two black wall. Next layer, once again, two black wall, two black concrete, two black wall. So three layers of the exact same. That is the fourth layer. Fifth layer is going to be one block of coal, one yellow terracotta, two black concrete, one yellow terracotta, and one block of coal. And on top of this, we are going to place one yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, two black concrete, one yellow terracotta, 
and one yellow concrete. For the next layer, we are going to grab ourselves some brown terracotta, some grey terracotta. So we're going to place one brown, four grey, one brown. And then on top of this, we are going to grab ourselves our spruce. And we're going to place two spruce, two grey, and two spruce. So again, backing up, this is what it now looks like. For the next section, which is the ninth to twelfth layers, we are going to grab ourselves our blue wall and our blue concrete. We're going to place one blue concrete, four blue wall, one blue concrete, and then the final three layers is going to be six blue wall. And that is going to be the rear side of the legs. That is a 12 by 8 rectangle. And again, if you want to pause, please feel free to do so. So moving on swiftly, moving on to the rear side of the body. We're going to start off with our first layer. Again, going to have to jumble the inventory a bit. So, we're going to start off with one blue terracotta, six blue wool, and one blue terracotta. On top of this, for the second layer, we're going to place one blue terracotta, two black wool, two blue concrete, two black wool, and one blue terracotta. For the third layer, we are going to place one blue terracotta, one yellow terracotta, one yellow concrete, two blue concrete, one yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, and one blue terracotta. So once again, that is the third layer. For the fourth layer now, we're going to place one blue terracotta, six blue wool, one blue terracotta, and on top of that, we are going to place one blue, two blue wool, two blue concrete, two blue wool, and one blue terracotta. For the sixth layer now, nice and simple, eight blue wool. So again, the sixth layer is eight blue wool. Seventh layer is going to consist of three blue wool, two blue concrete, concrete, terracotta, sorry, two blue terracotta, and three blue wool. Next layer is going to be two blue terracotta, one concrete, two terracotta, one concrete, and two blue terracotta. And on top of this, we're going to place three blue wool, two blue terracotta, and three blue wool. For the 10th layer now, we are going to place one yellow terracotta, one blue wool, four blue terracotta, one blue wool, and one yellow terracotta. Second to last layer, the 11th layer, is going to be two yellow concrete, one yellow terracotta, two blue terracotta, one yellow and two yellow concrete. And then for our final layer, the 12th layer, it's going to be one black wall, one black concrete, four yellow terracotta, or sorry, concrete, four yellow concrete, one black concrete, and one black wall. So again, that is a 12 by 8, and that is the rear side of the body. So if you want to pause, you know what to do, and then we're going to start making some progress on the arms. So we're going to start off with the rear of the arm here, so our left side, rear of the right arm, the side that has, of course, the gauntlet. So, of course, just like before, one block is already done, so we're placing three blocks per layer. First layer consists of two yellow concrete, one terracotta, one concrete. Second layer is going to be two terracotta, one concrete. Third layer is going to be three yellow concrete, and fourth layer is going to be one terracotta, two concrete. For the remaining eight layers... We are going to fill it in, just like before, with our light blue terracotta all the way up until the top. And then we punch out the details, which in this case, we're going to punch from the gauntlet on the right side all the way up until the 11th layer. So again, that's a replace with magenta. Then what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to the top left corner, go down one, two, second block in, punch out one, two, three, and replace all three blocks with magenta terracotta. So there should be a three block gap on the bottom and a two block gap on the top. Heading over to this side, even more simplistic. First layer is going to be one magenta, three light blue. Second layer is going to be two magenta, one light blue. And on top of this, we're going to place a layer of three light blue. On the left side now, we're going to build up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight using magenta. And then we're going to fill the rest in with light blue terracotta. For the final step, we're going to go to the top right corner, go down one, two, one block to the left, punch out one, 
down one, two, and replace all three with magenta. It's the exact same in terms of the pattern as that side. And again, if you back up, it's now a 12 by four rectangle. So that brings us to the final step before we work on the head, which is of course the shoulders. In regards to the shoulders, we're gonna come around to the front side. Starting on the left corner, next to this light blue terracotta here, we're gonna place two magenta, two light blue, and two magenta. Now, that is a four by four square. That's the left shoulder complete. This area here doesn't matter. It's gonna be covered by the head. Continuing now with this side, we're gonna place two magenta, two light blue, and two magenta. Exact same pattern as the left side, as you can see. For this middle area, feel free to just fill it in with whatever block you want. Once again, it's gonna be covered by the head, so it doesn't really matter, but for completion purposes, I will fill it in. So that is a 16 by four rectangle. And with that said and done, that is the body complete. One thing I just almost forgot about is on the rear side of this gauntlet here with the two yellow terracotta, you wanna place two more, just like we did on the front side, just to finish off the 3D effect. And yeah, with that said, that is the body of the statue complete. We're now ready to work on the head, but before we do that, what I'm gonna do is a brief little spin around um, just to make sure that everyone's up to the same point and give everyone a fair opportunity to catch up. So what this is gonna entail is me going part to part to part, reading out the dimensions, giving guys an opportunity to pause. So feel free to pause at any point, it's up to you. I'm not gonna force you. I'm also not gonna force you to listen to this. So if you wanna skip a minute or two, then feel free. So starting off, we've got the front side of the legs. That's a 12 by eight rectangle with the front side of the body, 12 by eight and the front of each arm, 12 by four. Coming around to the left side with the left side of the leg, that is 12 by four. The underside of the left hand, four by four, and then the left side of the arm, 12 by four. Go around to the rear side, rear side, right side. Um, we have the right side of the leg, 12 by four. Underside of the right hand, four by four. Right side of the arm, 12 by four. Then heading around to the real rear side, we've got the rear side of the legs, 12 by eight. Rear side of the body, 12 by eight. And rear side of each arm, 12 by four. Final side, the shoulders, 16 wide, four blocks thick. And with that said and done, we're now ready to start making some progress on the head. So I'm gonna grab my arm back and yeah, we'll start we'll start building. So we're gonna start off at the front side, aka the side that has the 3D effects on the knees slash legs. We're gonna come to the top left corner and we're gonna count five and it should be this black concrete. On top of said black concrete, we're gonna place a light blue terracotta and bring it two forwards on the right side we do the exact same so we count five over to the left once again should be the black concrete place a light blue bring it two forwards in between these what we're going to do is in the inner layer we're going to place one magenta one light blue one magenta oh sorry two magenta one light blue and one magenta and we're going to do this on the outer layer as well so again that's magenta light blue two magenta light blue magenta what we're actually going to do is we're gonna leave one block and we're gonna extend it out a third layer. So magenta, light blue, two magenta, light blue, magenta, and then a one block gap. And what this is gonna represent is his huge chin. <laughs> so uh, he's gonna have a massive chin, of course, accurate to the movie. In terms of the sides, we're gonna expand to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Exact same on this side. One, two, three, four, five. And join in the middle by placing six by two of light blue, and I'll give you an eight by two overhang on the rear side. Essentially, this is gonna give us a template for the head. If you ignore this 3D effect we have at the front, it's an eight by eight square, and of course the head is gonna be an eight by eight by eight cube. So we've got the front side, left side, right side, and rear side, and of course we're gonna start on the front side. So in terms of the front side, we're gonna ignore this because this is a 3D effect. We're gonna to come to the actual first block of the first layer. So the first layer should consist of one light blue, one magenta, one light blue, two magenta, light blue, magenta, light blue. On top of this, we're gonna place one light blue, leave a six block gap and place one light blue. Third layer is gonna be eight light blue terracotta. On top of this for the fourth layer, we are gonna grab ourselves our snow. So we're gonna place one snow. With this snow kind of slab block, we're gonna place two, one snow, two light blue terracotta, snow, two of the slabs and snow and it gives you something that looks like that. Kind of almost looks like some weird alien creature sticking out his tongue, but trust me, that's a chin. On top of this, we are gonna place three blue terracotta, two light blue terracotta, and three blue terracotta. And on top of that, we're gonna place three layers of eight light blue terracotta. 
Now that is going to be our 8x8 eight eight square, our basic shape. And right now it should look something like this. It should look a tad goofy. Behind these snow slabs, we are going to place a black concrete. What you can do, and it's what I did in the thumbnail, because it looked really weird in the thumbnail if I didn't. And what I mean by that is the issue of having the snow slabs is if you look at it from a corner, you can't actually see his eyes, and it's kind of just like shadows for eyes. So what you can do is you could just bring the black concrete forwards, like this. Um, personally, head on, it does look better if you have these snow slabs like that. So, whoops, one, two. Or you can do three. So if you want to make the gap smaller, you can do it three. To make him look even more angry and even more evil uh, but I personally quite like to so again if you back up it should look like this now in terms of his mouth this big old gap through here what we're gonna do is on top of this magenta uh, row here we're gonna leave one block and we're gonna grab ourselves our quartz and we're gonna place one two three four quartz and we're gonna grab our quartz stairs head around to the left side and place an upside down quartz stair cone off the left side and an upside down quartz stair coming off the right side. Now behind these quartz stairs, we are going to place ourselves a black concrete. We don't need to worry about the sides because that will be filled in once we actually get around to the sides. Once you've done that, it should look something like this. Just for demonstration purposes, I will indeed put a block to the side. So either side is going to be a magenta terracotta. And it will end up looking something like this. So again, you can play around the eyes a bit, as well as the mouth and the chin, if you want to change it. Also, a tip about the chin is you could kind of extend it downwards, um, like what I'm doing on screen here, so that it isn't just like a flat ledge. Um, but again, it depends on how you want to play it. So if you want to leave it like this, feel free to do so. Here's a big old sturdy chin. Uh, and also you can play around the eyes whether you want them indented or not. But most importantly, that is the front side of the face complete. Again, if you want to pause, feel free to do so. Come around to the left side. This side's going to have a bit more detail in terms of the light blue and magenta. So we're going to start off in the bottom left corner by replacing it with magenta. What we're then going to do for the second layer is place five light blue, one magenta. And of course, we'll place the second one if you haven't already right next to there. So it's visible behind the stair. For the third layer, we're going to place nice and simple seven light blue terracotta. On top of this, we're going to place five light blue terracotta and two magenta. On top of that, we're going to place four light blue, one magenta, two light blue, and we repeat this for a second layer. So again, that's four light blue, one magenta, and two light blue. For the seventh and eighth layers, we're going to place seven light blue terracotta. Once you've done that, that's an eight by eight square. The final thing we're going to do is add a little 3D effect as an ear. So we're going to come to the third layer, third block, sorry, third layer, fourth block, and we're going to place two light blue, and above that, two more, and it gives us two by two square, and that's going to kind of act as like a little ear, give a bit more shape to the side of the head. So that's an eight by eight square from a corner angle, looks like this. Heading around to the right side, very, very similar, not the exact same. We're going to come to the bottom right corner, replace it with magenta. Second layer, we are in fact going to replace that with a row of seven light blue. On top of that, we're going to place two magenta, five light blue. On top of that, two light blue, uh, one magenta. Oh, sorry, we'll just place a row of seven light blue because it's going to be covered anyways. Next layer is going to be one magenta, one light blue, one magenta, four light blue. And we're going to repeat this for a second layer. So again, that's magenta, light blue, magenta, and four light blue. And then the final two layers is going to be seven light blue terracotta. Next step, just like we did before, is come to the third layer, fourth block, fifth block, from left, place two light blue, above that two more, and it's going to be a little two by two square, and that's going to be for the ear. So again, that is the right side of the head complete, and that brings us to the rear side. So for the rear side, we're going to start off by punching out the bottom row, and we're going to replace that with solid magenta terracotta. Above that, the next seven layers is simply going to be six light blue. There's not much detail, and the same will be for the top of the head. If you want to add detail in terms of the magenta, then feel free to do so. But personally, I don't really feel it's necessary, and there is the extent that you potentially could be over-detailing it to the point where it no longer kind of looks like Thanos and kind of looks like some crazy, weird alien character, even though Thanos is technically. Um, but yeah, once you've done that, that is the statue complete. You have yourselves a very big, scary, angry, grunting little Thanos statue with his little glove. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it. I really do hope you enjoyed the video or found it at all useful. If you enjoyed the design, again, a huge credit where credit is due to Calendar Man for doing a really awesome design. Of course, it did change a few things such as the arm, uh, but it was just to make it more of a traditional kind of statue. So again, majority of the work by Calendar Man, credit where credit is due. Apart from that, if you did enjoy it, again, like, appreciated, leave a comment saying what you think about my series ideas, so that being stuff like Marvel, DC, of course, I want to get some more uh, Disney stuff out as well, because I'm a huge Wreck-It Ralph fan, um, so I've been wanting to get some Wreck-It Ralph themed stuff out, and I was going to get some Incredibles themed stuff out, but I'm a bit late to that now, so I don't know, let me know in the comment section below, of course, I'm going to keep doing some FNAF stuff, some maybe Bendy and Ink Machine, maybe Fortnite, um, but I want to know what you want apart from that, so yeah, Thank you for watching. Again, we really do hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider subscribing and turning notifications on. Or if you don't trust YouTube, just follow me on Twitter at GoVerGames. I tweet out every time I upload. And final thing, also, again, Tanto Network, the Minecraft server, IP, tantonetwork.com. Free to play Minecraft server. That's Creative Townie and also a new game mode coming soon. So come check that out. That's tantonetwork.com. That will be in the description. Just copy and paste that into your Minecraft PC server browser and you'll be able to come join us. So yeah, thank you. Until next time, my name has been Tom Gummy, and goodbye. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true.